championship game. The YMCA obviously had a lot of success, especially your seventh grade team, but what, if any, challenges during that stretch do you remember that your team had to face? I think it was in our second game against the um, second time we played the Bewley Center. We were we faced some adversity for like the fir for the first time that season. They they we had like a I think 15 or 20 point lead and they cut it down to six with like a minute left. And then we we just had to battle back and fight back to keep the lead. And then we just pulled away. With a team like yours that was undefeated at that point and still was, what did you continue to do to motivate yourself as a team during that stretch to find new ways to keep on winning and not lax, have any lax? We just thought about how everybody wants to be the team to beat the YMCA. We were like, kind of like uh, Kentucky because we were undefeated and everybody wants to beat us. So we didn't want to let that happen. What's it like having that target on your back? It's it's kind of fun because, you know, er everybody's saying at school, like, we're going to beat the Y, but we, we just know that if we work hard enough in practice, then they're not going to beat us. Now, in that championship, that tournament that you played in, uh, take me through that day. What happened in that first game you played against the Bewley Center, or rather the Ross, Ross Center? Yeah and then what happened in the championship game? Uh, against the Ross Center, we, uh, we played good for, to the first two quarters. And then the third quarter, that's, that's always the quarter where a team messes up or starts turning the ball over and gets scared. We, they, it was like a six or eight point game. And we had, to, we had to battle back in that first game, fight back like we did against the Bewley Center. And then we came away with the victory. And then we had to wait for like, two or two and a half hours to play the championship. We were all pretty sore, so we had to all stretch out. And then it was the court, since we played on like the side courts here in like the regular season in the first game of the playoffs, it, the full court was like, it was bigger and wider, so we could like get out in the open court and run, run with, run like faster than everybody because we're, we're the fastest team in the league, I think. When you won that championship and that final buzzer sounded in that last game against the Boys and Girls Club, what was going through your head? Going through my head that we earned, we earned that undefeated season in the championship because we, we worked really hard in practice and we shared the ball we we just overall played played good because um, the way you play in practice is the way you're going to play in a game, and we played we worked hard in practice. What did your coaches say in that final moment to your team? They told us, you know, good season, you know, like keep keep working hard over the summer and the off season, get better, and you know they said good season, then we like got in the huddle, started jumping around because we won the trophy. Now, after that, uh, something pretty neat happened for you. Just tell me what happened after the championship game and the award ceremony, what happened during that time? Uh, well, we, they all called us up to get our bags and stuff. Then they started giving out the awards. I got the academic honors for having a 4.0 and I got the Ice League MVP for working hard during the season and showing that hard work pay off in the games. What did those awards mean to you at that point? They meant that my hard work had paid off that I did over the summer and during the season. Any, uh, I know you mentioned before, um, there was a little, you had your friend, uh, was it? Uh, Mylon. Mylon, who yeah. you made a bet with. Tell us about that. Oh yeah. We, we made a bet because he thought I would get the MVP, but I thought he would get the MVP. So we made a bet, like, if he got it, then um, he would owe me candy. But if I got it, then I would owe him candy. So I had to give him some candy. You had to, what kind of candy did you get him? Uh, I think it was like a lifesaver or something. I don't remember. I want to take advantage of that. That's good. That's, that's a good candy, though. Yeah. Um, when you think about this whole experience and the ice league, um, obviously basketball was a big part of it, but 
grades were why it was founded and if just in your own opinion why do you think it was important that grades were the fundamental basis of this league I think it was important because you know if kids need to get learn the importance of you know you got to get good grades to get to college and you got to bring your grades up to, if you want to play in college you got to you know it doesn't matter how good you are you got to just bring those grades up and we had a player on our team Sam Drummer he he uh, he could only play one quarter at the start of the season but at the end of the season he he ended up playing four quarters and that was a really big contribution to our team how did that message impact you and your education and grades it impacted me because it inspired me to always you know keep working hard on my 4.0 and you know just keep working hard in the classroom and on the court not every kid has a 4.0 that's a pretty big achievement what do you, what do you think about that even now what about that achievement i think that you know i, I work hard in my in the classroom i always um check all my homework uh, make sure it's all right and you know, I just put put the effort forth at school. How can this league be used as an example for other kids, in your opinion, to get their grades up and um, also give them a chance to play basketball? What value does this have to others? I think it, the value to others of this league is that you know it. It helps them get in good habits about grades. Like, you know, it's not just like get good grades during the ice league. It helps them get in good habits, like turning in all their work and stuff. And uh, we'll wrap up here. I just want you to tell me straight up, who in your words is Dylan Abbott or Dylan Stafford? <laughs> who in your words is Dylan Stafford? Dylan Stafford is a hardworking seventh grader who always tries to put the effort forth not to just get the goal but take it take the goal home just not just don't not quit just you know take take the prize and i actually want to ask this but how does your uh, your mom is obviously a very important fa factor in your life i know and uh how, what does she meant to you and what does she think about this whole process you know, she, she means a lot to me because she's always taken me to uh, North Side because she's a teacher there to you know get up shots and stuff. And she she thinks that the ice league is like a very important part of kids' grades. She's seen a lot of kids in her classes get their grades up because of the ice league, so she thinks it's really important. And a, uh, now when you are okay, yeah, yeah, they get going. All right. So, uh, 10 years later, okay, what do you think of this league? I think that 10 years later, it'll, it'll have got, if it has got at least a one kid get, getting their grades up and at least one kid in, in seventh or eighth grade, you know, getting to go to college because they got in good habits of their grades, then it's a success. All right. All right.